Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here, and today we're going to go over the Wuthering Waves gotcha system. Now, I do want to say this is the closed beta, so there is subject to change a ton of it. They'll probably change it before it goes live, but I think we have a good grasp of how it works, and it's not as bad as it seems. It does need to be improved. It does have its cons. Kind of has its pros, too. So let's go ahead and talk about that. If you guys can, hit that like and subscribe. We'll have more Wuthering Waves content. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. Now, there's a lot we need to go over before we actually talk about the summoning rates and why it's good and why it's bad. First, we don't know what the currency or the income is really going to be just yet. We do not We do know that you get dailies. We do know that you get weeklies. And we do know there's end game content. And then there's also shops where you can buy full uh, summons straight out. Now, with the dailies, you only get about 40 tacit which is, if you want to put that in perspective, it takes 160 Tacit to actually convert this into a single pull. But we also have shops that you can use some of your currency from, which you can do from doing some of the, the Tacit fields um, and some of the uh, other events in the game in order to get more summons, and that's what the modulation key code comes in. But it's too early to tell if that it takes too much or if it doesn't take too much. And before we get started about how it takes 90 to get to a pity, I know that seems like a lot if you're coming from PGR, I know, but let's talk through it. There's another thing I need to explain before we talk about the actual summoning system. Now, if we go into any single character, there's something, there's leveling, there's gear, there's stuff like that, which we'll talk about the, we'll talk about the weapon system here in just a second when we talk about the gacha. But the thing I need to explain right now is the resonance chain. Now, everyone's used to constellations or awakenings, and you're used to having usually six, right? Well, in this game, you actually have six times four, where you can unlock um, like mini resonances and then major resonances that affect your character. And it takes roughly about 30 of these wave bands in order to get there. Now, funny enough, if you can see here, I've already been able to go three spots in with only owning a single ji -yun. And there's, there's a specific reason for that is that when you're pulling on the banner and once you own the character, you can actually get constellation wave bands without actually pulling the character. So if you pull the character, you get 30 straight out, straight out. But when you're doing 10 pulls, you get additional wave bands. It's just instead of gear or instead of other characters or instead of weapons, it's actually a really good system. So you can get some, some sequence increases without having to go fully deep to get another character you could probably get the sequence two without ha ever having to go the pity or maybe even sequence three which is a really good system um for weathering waves and then we do have weapons as well and now the weapons are very uh typical when you upgrade a weapon you can also infuse the weapon up to five times with another weapon that probably seems very uh familiar if you've played some other games but i'm actually okay that they took this system uh, because it actually works out really well. Now, talking about the banner specifically, and we just talked about weapons, and we talked about resonances and all that with dupes and stuff like that, there's only one banner. Now, there's probably a standard banner, but maybe there's not. Maybe there's only ever one banner. I can't click to the side here. This is a great system. You can pull weapons, and you can pull the characters off the same banner. Now, the one thing I will say is 90 pity to get a resonator or a weapon is a little deep. And if you don't know, you do have a 50-50. I'll talk about that in just a second. All right, let's get into the actual rates here. And then you have a 0.8% base rate, which is not the greatest in the world. I've technically seen worse, but not the greatest. And you have a 1.6% overall. So that's including when you hit that 10 pulls and you have that additional chance and you hit all the way to 90, including your guarantee. Now, the thing that you need to take into account is that you have a 1.7% chance of getting um the wave bands the five star wave bands and these are actually really important because you can actually unlock characters just by getting their wave bands that's right you can actually go to the database and unlock a character with 60 wave bands whether it's a four star wave band whether it's a five star wave band it doesn't even matter and if i quickly scroll down you'll see that you actually have about a 2.5 percent chance on getting uh, a wave band when it's split between all of them so what does that mean is that you technically might have a better chance of not hitting true true pity if you get really lucky pulling ji yoon's five star resonators and you're going to need that resonators anyways with what we talked about with our resonance so ideally hopefully you pull a decent amount of them and then you pull the character and then you effectively have a 
uh, an S1, or I don't know what we want to call it, but a sequence one, a sequence two, a sequence three character without having to pull the character twice per se, but you do get 30 when you do pull the character. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that uh, after reading through a lot of this, it doesn't look like your pity ever resets. So that's a really good thing. So when you go from banner to the banner, and we do have carryover on the different banners, as we scroll down here, you can see this guarantee uh, carryover. So that's really good that if you hit a five star, it doesn't reset your guaranteed pity every 90. So that does help out a little bit as the, the length of the game does happen. And then we do have that guaranteed carryover right there. You're just more likely going to miss the 50-50, but get it on the next time. So you shouldn't have to hard pity every single time unless you really have really bad luck. But once again, they did not say anywhere that it resets. Now, it may reset. I'm going to try and figure out those details. If I'm wrong about that, I'll make a comment uh, in the comments down below. But as of right now, it's not specifically stated in there. So is this a good system or is this a bad system? Well, it's a little bit of both. Because one, you're going to want to get those, you're going to want to get the, the weapons, and you're going to want to get the character on top of it. But what I really do like is that you're able to get those wave bands in three um, three point increments. You don't have to actually pull Jiyun a ton of times. You can end up getting that sequence upgrade without ever having to pull him. And a lot of the characters seem really good at, at Resonance 0 or Resonance 1. So what do I think they should do? Here are my final thoughts on it with the way the gotcha is. I don't know how many currency that we're still going to get. That is really going to determine on if this is a good system or not, because if they're allowing you to do like 60 pulls a month, 70 pulls a month, 80, I don't even know how many pulls a month. It's a good system, right? Because you're getting a lot of summons. But if you're only getting like 20 summons a month, maybe 30, right? It's not the best system in the world. What I'd like to see them do is two things. One, I would like to see them drop that pity down um, from 90 to maybe 80 or 70. Obviously, the lower, the better. I'm very greedy. Please just make it happen. And then two, what I would like to see is instead of a 50-50 split, I'd actually like to see a 70-30 split or maybe like a 65-35 where it puts it a little bit more in favor of the character instead of the weapons. Because one thing I've realized about this game as well is that a lot of the weapons, four star or not, are just very, very good in this game. And three star weapons work perfectly fine. And honestly, four star weapons and three star weapons work pretty decently and you can craft four star weapons from the from the in-game shops and then finally my last little point is that honestly even though the, the five stars are cracked don't get me wrong he's absolutely cracked but the main character th the four stars that are in this game are really good as well they're just in they're really really good the game is very well balanced of course the five stars are going to crack out a little bit harder but the main character specifically is actually really cracked and it's especially good that the main character is good and you can technically get her all the way to sequence six, all the way done for free. You can, you can do this for free. So you have a free cracked out uh, main character that is able to just dominate. So it's really, you can just pull who you want, pull your husbando, pull, pull your waifu, whoever you want to, right? And we won't really talk about some of the other mechanics. I'll break this down in another video. Hopefully that helped clear it up. What do you think about the gotcha system? Let me know in the comments down below. And um, let's make sure we have a constructive criticism because it is in the closed beta. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy and fist bump from me to you.